Thank you. I call on the Swedish Federation of Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Rights. Uh, joint statement. Gracias, señor vicepresidente. Thank you, Vice President. For a coalition of 20 LGBTQI human rights defenders from all regions who are present at this council session. Mm -hmm. We welcome the report presented by the Special Rapporteur on the Route to Development and its connection with the right to equality, reiterating the existing international human rights norms. The report highlights that the right to development is closely linked with the principles of equality and non-discrimination, including on the grounds of sexual orientation, gender identity, gender expression, and sex characteristics. In all regions, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, and intersex people are at risk of being left behind in development policies, programs, and implementation of the Agenda 2030, and this has a direct consequence on the enjoyment of the right to development. We applaud that the report highlights the need for desegregated data. It is important that such data is also desegregated by sexual orientation, gender identity, gender expression, and sex characteristics. And we value that the governments like Mexico, Costa Rica, and Canada have included specific information on this regard in their voluntarily national reports. It is essential that LGBTQI people have equal access to development and that are recognized as equal as stakeholders and can actively participate in society and reach their full potential. It is also crucial that the rights to development are ensured through adopting legal and policy reforms. States should recognize that LGBTQI people are also important contributors to sustainable development. We as everyone else are due to bearers of Agenda 2030. We are ready to collaborate with our states and all other stakeholders to ensure that sustainable development is achieved. Agenda 2030 is calling. Let us all make sure that no one is left behind. Gracias, señor vicepresidente. Gracias. Thank you.